If you've played Shutdown Simulator for even just one day, or maybe even six hours, you've most likely seen a good amount of problems with the game. And don't worry, I'll talk about the racism against my kind and others soon enough. And the reason why I want to talk mainly about the problems of the game is because they're actually just annoyingly demotivating. The game in general is fun, and it's been cool watching people come together to figure out all the information on the game, but the problems in the game are just about three things that almost made me and my friends just stop playing until will hopefully be fixed. Now there are obviously more than three problems with the game, but I personally think these three are the main ones and I'd rather talk about those instead of the more minute. The first problem in the game is Taijutsu. Out of all the paths to go down in the game, Taijutsu is the most broken and is used most in majority. That's because Taijutsu takes no form of energy, little to no cooldowns, and hits its moves freely. When using Taijutsu, and don't worry, I literally made a build myself, it doesn't take chakra or have its own form of stamina bar so you can use it indefinitely. The cooldowns range probably to around 7 to 10 seconds at most, which makes it a problem because dynamic entry is no difficulty to hit because it propels your body so fast and far and lines barrage hits outside the hitbox i don't know if i have the video or not but i soloed four full senju armor niggas by just using dynamic entry and lines barrage fighting taijutsu due to the game's wacky niggardry of a combat is literally almost impossible because you can just run around someone and continue to spam the moves and this becomes even worse if they have body flicker i think this problem can be fixed by either giving taijutsu a stamina bar making longer cooldowns fixing the lines barrage hitbox Box, as well as maybe making it blockable and just maybe a damage nerf. The second problem is the training grounds. There's 20 niggas to a server and 3 logs. There's not enough logs. And some niggas are impatient and dumb enough to steal your armor piece, and then you beat them to death and they ask why. Like, the nigga ain't just rob you. And you gain sin when gripping people, which, if you have too much sin, you then literally cannot play the game. You lost all access to any NPCs, which literally just makes it nearly unplayable. I don't know why there's not a rogue base or something for the sinners, and then you could say to just throw them into the void near Rochimaru's, well, nigga, why is that even there? And what's the point of of adding a gripping system with sin just to make a way for niggas to throw you into a pit and gain the same outcome with zero drawback kind of counterintuitive i think this is easily fixed by adding that if you kill anyone any way you gain sin and to add more logs also to add a way for you know sinning npcs and my last problem with the game is the stealing of eyes. The extraction seal is way too easy to obtain as well as causing a group of people to suffer mass genocide. I got a Hugo alt and although Zetsism is also prominent, shout out my ziggas, niggas was looking at my back and checking my eyes every 10 minutes I was in the server, literally being forced to combat log because everyone has easy access to the jutsu. Like niggas in Naruto weren't just in the Leaf Village, hey Sasuke, oh hi Sakura, like not every nigga was just stealing someone's eyes and you can tell it's a problem because i could bet the majority and you can answer too if you have this build taijutsu ceiling stamina and if they don't have taijutsu ceiling and stamina they either have taijutsu or ceiling in their build because they're most likely the meta due to taijutsu's broken moves and ceiling's eye stealing ability and your counter argument is probably well the move is 300 ryle when people can combat log to keep their eyes anyways first off 300 ryle is easy money secondly people are still being targeted and forced to lose their life or lose their eyes because they won't stop being hunted and i also understand the whole combat log instead of getting your eyes stolen but i think that can be fixed by adding a system to have your eyes taken away anyways but i think this situation to make it fair is to create more requirements for extraction of eyes where there has to be locked by uzumaki clan has to be a 25 year of age requirement or make the eye ceiling move require like 200 sin or more because robbing a nigga's eyes is not a good deed or make the initial eye move give you a crazy amount of sin off the initial steal whatever it is it's just goofy how every single nigga is the same build and after the same thing everyone's just going to be after eyes and have eyes but it's just those three technically four main problems i have with the game everything else is more of a minority i like the game so far i'd like to see it flourish but this video is more serious like most of my recent videos because it's about games that need to fix their game have a great day